Harry Black, Mayor John Cranley's nominee to become Cincinnati's next city manager, is reportedly headed for easy confirmation. A young yet experienced numbers guy, he is the latest import to man a major helm here. Dennis Jansen weighs in with his two cents worth. Indulge me and some of my generation if we look upon the nomination of Harry Black as Cincinnati's new city manager with some skepticism. I say that only because Harry Black isn't one of us. A Baltimore native, he's served his hometown admirably, it seems, in a wide range of roles. But for most of my lifetime, the people who made Cincinnati run and presided over its operation, its police chiefs, fire chiefs, waterworks directors and such, knew the city inside and out because they were born here. We've gotten away from that tradition, to the exclusion of well-qualified and dedicated locals, but probably to our overall betterment. As much as I reveled in Elder and West High serving as boot camp for chief of police, hiring Detroiter James Craig was a good move. Same for Michael Braun, a Columbus native, to head the fire division. I'm getting over my parochial devotion to one of our own always being best. Fresh eyes, fresh approach. Worth a try after generations of promoting from within. The ultimate checks and balances firewall, though, is cited by the job description on the city's website. The city manager executes the policy direction set by the mayor and city council. While I have reservations about some council members, as long as West Sider John Cranley sets the agenda, we can't go too far wrong. I'm Dennis Jansen, and that's my two cents worth.